right, hi. Hi, everybody. My name is Simran Chani Kaglani. And first up, I just want to say how excited I am to be here today. Um, amazing conversation about AI. And AI is you know, one of these new topics that all of us are interested about. Um, unfortunately or fortunately, I am going to be talking about a topic which is now 16 years old. Um, I'm going to be talking about the IPL. Uh, but the new piece about the IPL that I would like to talk to you about today is IPL on GeoCinema. So without further ado, I'm just going to get into it. At any point in time, if anyone has any questions, please you know, feel free to ask me. Um, I think when it comes to the IPL, or rather you know, when, when you look at this statement, um, a lot of us will relate to the statement hard, right? Uh, especially when it comes to the context of technology. I'm sure all of you remember, you know, when BlackBerry was the thing that all of us used, and then the iPhone came in, and you know, BlackBerry sort of became like absolutely old news, right? Or uh, you know, for example, when all of us were on Orkut, and then within I think about a year or two. Orkut was old news, and all of us sort of shifted to Facebook. And then the uh, uh, social media journey sort of uh, you know, started developing from there. I think when it comes to technology, uh, this statement holds very, very true. Um, with technology, what is happening is that after a certain inflection point, the rate of change is very, very fast. And look at us, right? I mean, before FIFA 2022, um, you know, GeoCinema was not really known as a sports platform. And within the span of the last 18 months, GeoCinema now has become the largest sports platform, right? So I think what happens is that a lot of times change takes some time to build up, uh, and then it starts happening very, very rapidly. And while this is something that's happened in our lives, I think another thing that all of us in this room probably will relate very much is you know, how uh, the emergence of digital India has happened. Um, in the country in such a strong way, right? And a few things have contributed to this. Of course, the first one being geotelecom really taking mobile connectivity to the last mile starting 2017. Uh, you know, today the mobile penetration in the country is very, very deep. Um, my favorite sort of anecdote to talk about UPI is that every year I actually go for a trek in Maharashtra in the rains because it's just so beautiful in the rains, right? And I have this one vada pav guy that I like to have vada pav at every year after my trek. And this is super remote. You have to drive three hours outside of Bombay to do it. And for the last couple of years, I've been able to pay this guy seven rupees for my vada pav on UPI. Right? So that sort of tells you the story of how deeply penetrated UPI has become. And of course, all of us have gone through the process of registering ourselves and having our unique ID with Aadhaar. Um, all of these pieces have actually contributed to the emergence of India as a digital first nation, and the geocinema story is actually just another chapter in that story. Um, coming back to why we are all here today, and what why, not why we are all here today, but why I am here today and what I want to talk to you about. Um, just first up, I want to share what our ambition for the upcoming season of IPL is because I know a lot of the conversation around IPL is about how big it is from a viewer lens as well. Um, this year for IPL, GeoCinema as a platform is confident of achieving a 650 million reach across devices. So this is across mobile and connected television devices and a couple of other innovations that we have in store that I will touch upon. So this is the ambition for this year. Um, and when you look about, when you look at this number in context of I don't know what's happening outside, but I'm just going to continue, OK? <laughs> so when you look at this number in the context of what we did last year, this number actually does not seem that improbable. So last season, which was our first season of uh, you know, having IPL on the platform, uh, we achieved a reach of about 449 million users across devices. And when you compare this to the previous seasons on IPL on the previous streaming platform, this is a huge jump. You know, It's about almost like a 38% jump from the previous season. The reason why we were able to achieve this kind of a number, of course, I think one of the big things that was very, very talked about, I think all of you will have memories of this, is that you know, we decided to make IPL viewing free for all consumers in the country. No matter what device you are on, you could consume IPL for free, which is why we say that was a barrier-free experience. And that, of course, led to a large sort of population tuning into our platform to consume their favorite tournament. 
and not just from a pricing standpoint, there were a couple of other sort of, you know, uh, big innovations or other large steps that we took uh, to make IPL more attractive to folks. One big one for us was, of course, introducing IPL in 12 languages to users. Uh, some of you probably would have, you know, experimented with the Bhojpuri feed, for example, which went very viral. A lot of people on Twitter were talking about just how fun the Bhojpuri feed was or the Punjabi feed, right? So for the first time ever in the 15 years that IPL had been happening, um, a consumer from these markets, which are otherwise underserved, could actually consume IPL commentary in a language of their choice. Um, and of course, all of this was across all 74 matches and all screens, right? So no sort of, I think, no kind of, you know, preferential treatment to one, for one screen versus the other. All content was available across all screens. And not just that, um, I think for the early adopters in all of us, right, what we tried to do last year was try and, you know, sort of blur the lines between what you do while you're consuming IPL and what you do around IPL, right? So one big habit, I think, that all of us who are cricket fans, and I'm assuming most of us in this room are cricket fans, is that, you know, while you're watching the game, you also want to say, for example, go to another platform and check out stats, right? Uh, so we introduced live stats on the platform. Multi-cameras on our feed was the first time. So, you know, if you are, say, for example, my favorite example for this is that if you are a Dhoni fan and you're watching a CSK match, especially if you put the stump mic, the stump cam on, there are chances that you may actually be able to hear Dhoni give instructions to the bowler at the other end, right? Which all of us, of course, as cricket lovers, uh, love. And a 360-degree VR experience was also introduced on our platform. And one would think, I think instinctively, that not a lot of people will use these features because they seem so high-tech. But pleasantly for us, what we realized was about 100 million users on the platform were actually engaging with these features on a daily basis. I mean, 100 million is a massive number. And that should tell you that the early adopter user base is not a niche user base anymore. Uh, I think usage of technology is becoming so much more native to the Indian audience that I don't think as advertisers and planners we are even being able to imagine how quickly people sort of adapt to the new features that you have to introduce. Um, and while all of this is, you know, the story on mobile, um, uh, another big story for us was the sort of engagement that we were able to drive, whether it was with our game, Jito Dhan Dhanadhan, where, you know, it was a play-along game, people could answer questions while watching the match. Every day, one person won a car, you know, I mean, huge thing that we did from a consumer engagement standpoint. Um, all of these things sort of led to people actually spending more time consuming IPL on our platform. I think in the past, what would happen is that, you know, IPL on your phone would remain more of an on-the-go phenomenon. But an average watch time of 70 minutes, I mean, I don't think any of us are traveling 70 minutes to, to you know, I mean, unless, of course, I live in Pavai and I work in Lower Parel, so I do travel a lot, long time. But other than that, on average, users are not really traveling for that long across the country, right? So 70 minutes is a very high sort of average uh, time spent on a tournament for it to really, for the platform to really just remain an on-the-go medium. Um, and not just on the mobile, I think one big commitment that we made was how do we take IPL, um, you know, to all of your screens uh, in a very meaningful way. Our distribution team, you know, did the hard work of working with a Google TV, working with a, uh, you know, with the Samsungs of the world to ensure that Geo Cinema was available, uh, you know, on all of these platforms. Um, and one big innovation that we brought into the market uh, on the connected TV devices was the Asli 4K stream. Uh, right, and this was the first time ever anywhere in the world that a tournament was actually streamed in 4K. It actually meant having to do investments in getting those type of cameras into the field to have that kind of a output. Um, and we were very, very pleasantly surprised with the results. And I'll touch upon the 4K results in a bit, but before that, I want to leave you with some highlight numbers on what we were able to achieve on connected television. Uh, we were able to achieve a device level reach of 29 million devices through the tournament and an individual level reach of about 126 um, million users on just connected TV. Um, and of course, this in our minds is one big growth story and indicator of a complete consumer shift that is happening, uh, you know, in the country. This number was 126 million during IPL last year, and as we have gone on month on month, of course, we've got a lot of other tournaments happening on the platform. We are actually seeing this number change dramatically month on month. 
In fact, if you read, uh, you know, any of the data that's coming out of OEM manufacturers, you will get to know that uh, about 98% of the devices that are sold in India today are actually connected TV devices. You know, the old form of television is almost nearly obsolete. Whoever is looking in the market to buy a new TV is actually buying a connected TV. Um, so obviously one big sort of consumer shift, you know, the example that I gave of Blackberry to iPhone, I think that sort of a consumer shift is happening in the television space as well. So what does this mean for IPL 2024, right? Um, at least our, you know, ambition and our objective for IPL 2024 is threefold. You know, how do we make IPL 2024 and Geo Cinema the largest reach, ag reach aggregator? Uh, you know, how do we essentially make the viewing experience better for consumers? And while all of us are planners, managers, uh, you know, agencies, we are also, at the end of the day, also consumers of the tournament, right? So how do we make the consumption of the tournament better uh, for all of our users? And finally, what does this mean for our advertisers, right? So when you speak about reach, uh, the way we are looking at it is how do you make IPL every Indian's Premier League, right? So few things in this, uh, in this objective uh, for us. Of course, you know, I mean, mobile internet penetration is growing rapidly. One big story for us on this one is making IPL available on the 4G feature phones that we have called the Geo Bharat phones. This phone is actually a 999 rupee device. We currently have India England live on the platform and I'll touch upon a little bit more on it when I'm on the Geo Bharat uh, piece of the deck. But one big piece is how do we increase reach for the mobile audience? On the app itself, we will be introducing a multilingual UI. So currently, if you log on to Geo Cinema, Geo Cinema, the UI is in English. Uh, and of course, just the way we've done commentary in multiple languages, we just want to take that sort of learning a little bit deeper and make our app also in different languages. And finally, how can we really sort of achieve the large sort of target that we have in our minds for CTV penetration. Uh, one big piece, you know, for this is actually being done for us by one of our group companies, which is Geo Air Fiber, really taking last mile connectivity for, uh, you know, Wi-Fi connection absolutely deep in the country. And we have, uh, you know, reason to believe that we will reach about a 200 million user base for the upcoming season of IPL on connected TV devices. And like I was mentioning earlier, the big sort of, I think, story for us for connected TV during IPL was not just the emergence of connected TV, but was actually the user base that was watching on 4K, uh, right? Now, one has to assume that people who are watching on 4K, A, have a high-end connected TV device, B, have a very, very stable broadband connection. Um, and of course, you know, a few other sort of, you know, uh, signals we took was that this audience is over-indexed on discretionary spending. Um, and for the upcoming season of IPL, we will actually be opening up 4K targeting separately uh, for our clients. So if you have a brand, for example, which is obviously looking for an elite audience, 4K is actually a great way for you to, you know, partner with us. We're looking at about a unique reach of 40 million users on 4K alone. So in terms of driving very, very meaningful reach in this elite bracket, I don't think anything can get bigger in that very, very short period of time. You know, if you want to scale your reach within a few weeks, this is the right product for you. Um, and coming to Geo Bharat, um, you know, so in fact, India England, which is a tournament which is ongoing right now, uh, is available for streaming live. Those of you, if you can get access, and you know, my team and I, we'd be happy to actually show you what the live streaming experience on a Geo Bharat phone is like. It's actually pretty decent, um, you know, and the idea really is to be able to take cricket to as many users as possible. Uh, and especially, more importantly, as planners, you know, we have always all spoken about media dark markets. Um, we think the Geo Bharat story could actually help us resolve some of the whole media dark market reach piece. And here what we are enabling is of course advertising on Geo Bharat phones. So the beauty of cricket is between every over there is a 45 second break which will happen on the Geo Bharat feed as well. So advertisers can actually choose to advertise certain products on this feed uh, separately. Um, the reach that we are estimating on these devices for IPL is about 35 million devices. So this has been, you know, in terms of what are we doing um, in terms of reach, how do we make, um, you know, all of this more meaningful for you? So there are a few ideas, very high level again, I don't want to take more time. 
Um, the one big piece that you know we're looking to launch this year is called Geo Cinema Brand Spotlight. I don't know how many of you actually saw the uh, Jennifer Aniston, David Schwimmer um, teaser for Uber Eats, which came out uh, yesterday. So Uber Eats, of course, has already started their Super Bowl campaign. Um, and all of us, I think, in this room at least are aware of, you know, how Super Bowl sort of has become this opportunity for brands to launch new creatives and by virtue of that really drive a lot of buzz and conversation about your new creative. Uh, we kind of want to replicate that same experience because really no other platform can be bigger than IPL to do that. So Geo Cinema Brand Spotlight essentially is that opportunity. What we are going to do is in the first five overs of the opening game, we will be opening up the breaks to five select brands who have uh, you know, a new creative preferably. Uh, and these ads will run as spots on the platform. So no matter which screen you are on, at the same time you will see that one ad, leading to a lot of buzz for your brand. And think of, um, think of this opportunity as, you know, uh, the way we are thinking about this is, you know, how can we really present a platform for you to have a massive start to your campaign? So the way we are imagining this 45 second opportunity is that, you know, first there can be a five second bumper which will say that the Geo Cinema Spotlight is now on this brand, followed by maybe a 10 second, you know, spokesperson speak saying that, look, this is a new campaign that we are unveiling today. So really putting it up on a pedestal uh, to get audiences also talking about it, followed with the brand ad. Um, and not just, you know, I mean, placing this on a live environment, we will also have a lot of nudges built into our live feed itself. So before the ad appears, we will have some nudges on the platform and also a pre-buzz uh, campaign to support this. And not just on the day of the opening game, um, what we're enabling on the platform is if you have some behind the scenes content, you know, interviews, say for example, with the talent which is featuring uh, in your ad campaign, we can create shorter snippets of it for video on demand consumption and that will have a separate real estate, uh, you know, dedicated to it on our platform throughout the season. So that's, you know, one, one big piece that we are launching. The other one that we are launching and the one that we are really, really excited about is that really what if we told you that as a brand you could own an IPL stream of your own. I think in the old TV context, the only way you could do this is, it's like saying, you know, can you start a separate channel for a certain brand, you know? Really not possible, right? But the beauty of technology is that it allows you to do a lot of this. So the way we are imagining this is, with the clients or with the brands, uh, probably some level of data that you share with us, we can create some lookalike audiences for you and then create a custom feed just for your brand. Obviously, the lookalike audience will take in care, you know, your consumers, key decision makers, customers, etc. And obviously, build like a lot of nudges on the platform for discoverability of this feed, right? So if you can see, I've actually shown an example of for instance, you know, if we were to do this for Royal Stag packaged water, it could look something like you are now watching, uh, you know, the Royal Stag live at large feed. Uh, there would be a lot of discoverability levers on the platform for consumers coming to our platform to discover this feed. Not just that, once a user has entered this feed, uh, there's again a lot of customization possible in terms of pre-rolls which are customized to the brand. Um, the pre-show, again, you know, can be customized to what the brand communication is. Uh, I think in the past, a lot of times what happens is that you only have that 20 second window or that 15 second window to have your brand storytelling. What we heard from a lot of brands was that, look, I don't just want to talk about one feature. I want to talk about many other features. I want to talk about the emotional benefit of my brand. Uh, you know, I want to sort of move some consideration metrics for this brand, right? And using our pre-show, which is customized to a brand, is a great opportunity to do that. And we sort of will enable that on this custom feed and also an opportunity to run some contests specifically on this feed so you know the users coming into that funnel are actually just coming in from this feed. And finally, a big opportunity to work with us to do a, you know, mass media campaign for you to popularize this feed, right? So we will be sharing rights with advertisers to say that enjoy a new way, uh, you know, find a new way to watch this T20 season on this particular feed. So imagine, you know, while I mean I had visualized this for Royal Stack Package Water, it could be like a Coke happiness feed, a Royal, uh, Royal Enfield ad adventure feed, uh, and a lot of technical advancement in terms of creating a custom cohort for this feed is possible. And not just this, I think even from just regular ad asset point of view, one big thing that we are unlocking this year is 100 plus cohorts 
uh, for targeting. I think a lot of our clients were talking to us about better cohorting possible, and we've heard you and we've enabled it uh, on this season. So we have certain geo clusters available, obviously top six metros available, demo uh, available, and also a few other interest buckets uh, available. So say, for instance, an e-com audience is what you're going after, that, that can be a cohort that we can create for you. And of course, cross tabs, I, I'm getting into a little bit of a media jargon discussion, but cross tab targeting also on IPL is available. And not just this, a few upgrades to our ad assets. So we, for, you know, if you're looking for impact, I think mastheads is a great one to go for. Uh, we are introducing carousels to our mid-rolls as well. So the same 15 second actually works harder for you because you're able to show multiple products within that same 15 second And a host of um, display assets are also being unlocked. This season I haven't actually added the whole ad suite here because we have over, I think over 24, 25 new ad assets that we are introducing this season, making it the largest ever ad suite on ITL. I've just basically put them in three large buckets, which is we have solutions for impact, we do have solutions for driving reach on video, and for maximizing reach on display. So that's how sort of you have to look at it. And not just that, of course, our pre-show is still up for grabs. I think a lot of core cricket audience log logs into our platform to consume our pre and post show. Uh, last year, I think Chris Gale, A.B. De Villiers were some of the most talked about experts that we had uh, on our feed. We did one big innovation for the Backstreet Boys tour, which also sort of went viral. Um, I think what people also don't realize about our pre-show is that just the social chatter generated from the presence on this pre-show is actually worth, uh, you know, the partnership. Lot of branded content opportunities again are possible, and this is just a snapshot of brands who worked uh, worked with us. And finally, I think with a roster of over 140 cricket legends who are working with us across all of our languages, whether it is Kannada, Telugu, Hindi, English, uh, what we are unlocking this year for brands is an opportunity to work directly with us to do social media campaigns with these faces, right? Otherwise, typically you would have to. For instance, for an extension of a campaign, reach out to four different agencies to see how you can leverage cricket. And of course, in those two months, everything is about cricket, right? What we're unlocking for brands this season is how can you work with us, where we become sort of the inlet to, um, you know, kind of give you access for all of these names during your campaign period as well. And I think I'm five minutes, you know, beyond schedule, but yeah, so this is what I had to speak to you about today. My whole team is also here, so in case you have any more questions, please feel free and, you know, bug us, and we'd be more than happy to take your questions. So thank you. And look thank you. Thank you so much, Simran.